Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today at the Quick Products Virtual Trade Show booth. In today's episode, I'm going to be featuring one of our flagship products, Quick System Flush. Um, just to give you a little bit of history on Quick System Flush, we developed that product in 2001 for the Air Force. And uh, at that time, they were looking for a flushing agent for oxygen systems on aircraft. And since then, we've actually been able to bring that technology to residential and commercial HVAC systems as a way of flushing out the line set after a retrofit, a burnout, or a system cleanup. Quick System Flush is ozone safe, non-toxic, and non-flammable. And it's been tested and proven to be nine times more effective at moisture removal and 10 times more effective at acid removal than leading competitors. To effectively remove impurities such as acid, sludge, excess oil, and moisture, Quick System Flush is an absolute must. So today what we're gonna be doing is actually simulating um, with this transparent hose uh, a system burnout. So essentially what we're gonna do is add some old oil. It's got some sludge and contaminants into the system. And we're gonna show you system flush in action. First step, in every flushing process, the best idea is to use a little bit of nitrogen first to blow out the system, get the easy stuff out. And, uh, but as you'll see in this experiment, the nitrogen is just not gonna be enough to actually clean out all of that oil and sludge. Um, so I've got a nitrogen cy cylinder here off to the left, and I'm going to give it a little blast with nitrogen and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, uh, the nitrogen blast is just not enough. Um, what you really need to do is flush it out with a, with a solvent. And we believe that quick system flush is your best option to do so. What I'm gonna do now is go in and actually use the quick system flush to show what happens with the oil that's actually left in the system after that nitrogen blast. So what I've got here is a one pound can of system flush a can access valve, our, our charging hose from our starter kit, and our squeeze nozzle from, nozzle from our starter kit. Two important notes when doing a line set flush. Uh, one is to make sure that on the other end of the line set you're using a collection receptacle. In this demonstration we've got um, a receptacle right here where everything will run into it at the end. And the second note is that when you're using quick system flush, you have to use it with the can inverted. Um, it does not have a dip tube inside. So to dispense it properly, you need to have it inverted. Let's give it a try. So as you can see, after just a couple of seconds with the quick system flush, that oil was blasted all the way through the system and out of the system where we want it to be. We don't want anything left in the line set when we're doing a retrofit or cleaning up after a burnout. As a next step, we'll give it one last push with nitrogen. And once that's all done and your line set is clean, the last most important step probably is to pull a vacuum and make sure everything is out of that line set. If you have a question about Quick System Flush, feel free to comment on the video. Um, follow us on social media. Visit us at quick.com for more information as well. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. Thank you.